and new at noon, elections officials released the third printout, but this is just for the city and county of Honolulu to help us digest everything. We are joined now by Daryl Huff, live from the state capitol. Now, Daryl, there were several close Oahu races we've been watching. In this third printout, any big changes or surprises were seen? Well, what we did see in that third printout was that Brenton Awa, a Republican on the North Shore, is starting to edge out Gil Riviere, who's been a longtime Democrat from, from up there in the state Senate. We've also got very close races for the race for Sharon Har's seat in uh, Kapolei area. Her opponent is uh, Diamond Garcia, a very active Republican candidate, but also her DUI may have really hurt her in that race. We also saw that uh, Matt Lopresti was defeated in EVA, and he also had the DUI, and so that conduct issue is, is serious. Also, what we were surprised to see is that veteran Senator Miley Shimabukuro on the leeward side is being, def uh, is very close, not being defeated, I'm sorry, is very closely followed by Samantha DeCourt. So those are all races that are close enough that what's out there still, the ballots that are still out, could affect. Now, it looks like what we're told by city and county elections officials and by the state elections officials here is that there are about 12,000 votes that are still being processed at the city and county for because they didn't have signatures or they were unable to verify their signatures electronically. So it's a manual process where they compare the signatures on the outside of the ballot envelope to your voter registration forms. And so that's a very slow process. No promises yet from uh, the Honolulu Elections Division about when those ballots will be ready to be picked up. Now, how these ballots will break out, whether they will affect these races, it's really hard to say. I believe and I've been told that this last batch of ballots is from drop boxes all around Oahu and that they believe that more Republicans were dropping off ballots in drop boxes than Democrats on this last day. So that's going to be very interesting to see. It could be good for the Republicans who are in contention here. As for me up here, I'm on the second floor of the state Senate where they've actually started moving people around with the help of inmates from the Wyava Correctional Facility. Right now, this is just movement of veteran legislators into vacant offices that have been vacated by retiring people. The actual people coming in to be legislators for the first time or senators for the first time won't be happening until after this election is over, which we were hoping for today, but it looks like it'll be a little longer later in the day, it looks like. Yeah, and Dara, we've been, I mean, you know, if these Republican candidates are successful in ousting uh, these Democratic incumbents, how will that change things at the state legislature? Will, you know, having a bigger Republican Party presence there, you know, affect how business gets done there? What do you think? Well, you know, really what we're looking at most likely is a perhaps if everything goes well for the, the races we're looking at, perhaps a one seat pickup in the state house and perhaps a one seat pickup in the state Senate. So that's not really going to change the dynamic here very much at all. Um, although you got to say that, you know, uh, Republicans did better than some people expected because they vacated a couple of seats in the state house this year and they were, they were at risk of losing ground. Instead, it seems like they may be gaining ground. Hey, Daryl, just curious, if you're hearing anything about those lines we saw yesterday and those long waits, hearing anything from officials about that yet? Not really, but, you know, it's pretty clear that across the country you're seeing this um, trend of Republicans who don't trust the voting system or have their doubts about the voting system choosing to come on the last day. And then there's the usual procrastinators that just don't make up their mind till the last day. I think that one of the discussions that's going to be had is should there be more voter centers? Clearly, the voters are expressing their sentiment with their feet, showing up late, willing to stand in line. Should there be more voter centers, also particularly on Maui, where they repeatedly are the last ones to vote? You know, those are considerations that I know are underway um, and will probably be taking effect in the next election. Otherwise, they're very happy with the mail-in system. It brought in something like 80, 90 percent of the votes in the first printout. So we've only got very few really close races at this point, and it's a pretty much put-to-bed election. All right, Dara Huff joining us live from the state capitol with details on the third printout. Again, that was only for the city and county of Honolulu. We are awaiting the third printouts for the other counties, and we'll bring that to you once we get.